Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the RPSF Gaming channel which is definitely the place you want to be at when FIFA 16 comes out on Friday. I'm so excited for this and yeah we're gonna upload player reviews and tutorials and trading tips and everything you want. But today I've got a video for you which I'm gonna be showing uh, the top 5 cheap strikers uh, f for me personally in the demo. So here we go. At the number 5 spot, we have got a player that was insane last year, and it is Rodrigo Palacio. Plays at Inter Milan, he's Argentinian. He's got 85 pace, 84 dribbling, 85 finishing, which is insane for a player with his rating. And he's just overall such a great player. Great dribbling as well. I, I know pace is not really that important anymore this year, but I mean, it's still pretty good if you have a pretty fast player, as you can see. With ease, with such a big ease dribbling past the defenders and with an 85 finishing, he's not going to miss in the penalty area. I hated playing against him last year, he was actually a non-rare last year. He was so good. This year he's a rare, goes for about 3k, which is insanely cheap for a player of his power. He's just such an insane player. Comes in at number 5. At the number 4 spot, we have got a player that was also pretty good last year, but not as good as this year. It is Jeremy Menez. And the uh, 4 star skiller from AC Milan, he's, he's got an insane card this year. He's got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot with good pace, good shooting, good dribbling. He's got pretty much everything, but last year he was not a striker, he only had some informed cards at sent attacking mid, I think. But this year he's a striker and he's really, really good, believe me. You can see from the clips, it's just very easy to dribble past defenses with him. Uh, by the way, it's just I played against the computer because this is the demo. Uh, but I had it on, on, on professional and it was very hard for me to score. But Menez made it very easy for me and yeah, he comes in at number 4. Coming in at number 3, we have a player that is really, really good. Of course, because he wouldn't be on his list otherwise. It's a player we all love and hate at the same time. It is Seydou Dumbia. Where shall I begin? 91 pace, great shooting, great dribbling. The dribbling. Four star skills, four star weak foot. He's just, we all know him. <laughs> he's an insane player, but the only reason why he's not on top of this list on number one is because he plays in the Russian league again at Moscow and it's really not a very popular league, of course, and that's the only reason why I didn't put him at number one, because otherwise he probably would be if he was still at Roma, but again, he would be more expensive, so yeah, he comes in at number three. At number two, we have a surprise. It is going to be Carlos Baca. The Colombian striker from AC Milan is a ridiculously good player this year. He's got 83 pace, 83 shooting, uh, very good dribbling, I think it's 80 dribbling, but he's got very good dribbling. I was really surprised when I used him, and he's a very, very clinical finisher, just as last year. But this year, since the game is not really relied on pace that much, you really need a complete strike, and Baka is exactly that, and he only goes for like 3k at the moment, which is very cheap for such an all-round great striker like Carlos Baca. You should definitely try him out. Uh, the best thing about him is his strength though. I, I put this clip just to highlight his strength. Just look at this. It's insane. Coming in at number one, the moment we've all been waiting for, it is... Rodrigo from Valencia in the Primera División. Which is wrong because it's the Liga BBVA. So, <laughs> okay, so he's pre very, very OP player this year. He has been very good last year, but I think he's even better this year. He's got 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, 86 pace, great shoot. And just look at his left foot, it's insane. You shouldn't be able to score goals like this with a player that cheap and with that rating of his. I mean, I don't know what to talk about him, he's just an insane player. He's from a great nation as well and from a great league, so it's very easy to build teams around him. Yeah, he's just, that's why I put him at number one. He's just, he's going to be the first player I purchase when the game comes out. And I think it's not a bad decision for you to, to buy him as your first player. 
I mean, everybody should have like 3,000 coins when the game comes out, so you can definitely afford this player. So, thanks for watching this video. This is my opinion, and goodbye.